Hello, Chapter 4 Tubers, and welcome back to play... Let's play some more Shining Force CD with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we finished Chapter 3, which was Battle 18, where we fought the boss solo and got a big promotion party. Now we chase after the remainder of the Eom, Iom, Aoyom army, but can we catch them? Hurry, we must get the prince out of here before the Cypress army arrives. King Warder is waiting for you at the shrine. So that'll be Prince Nick over there. That's the guy we've been trying to rescue all this game. Oh no, the Cypress army! Blah, brains! He's a very fast-moving zombie. Uh, Sir Hindal, the Cypress army is approaching. Very well. Barbara, 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 take Prince Blue number two, the fake, to the shrine. I'll await Cyprus and greet them here. I can't do that. What? I'm the boss here. I got the cool helmet. No, I have direct orders from the warder himself, not to take orders from you. Wait. Your boss told you not to listen to your other boss? And why is that? My orders are, if you act strangely, I must kill you. What? Although I should accompany Prince Blue Number 2 to the shrine. Uh, what do you want from me? You want me to go with you? Oh my, you're being agreeable. That's good. I don't want to kill you in front of everyone. Look, he's got this cool helmet. You're not going to kill him. You barely have any armor on. You got girl armor, I can tell. <laughs> it's not going to protect you at all. Hindle and I will take Prince Blue number two to the shrine. The rest of you stay here and hold off the Cypress army. Uh, or die, try. I don't really care about anyone. I'm a monster girl that's actually probably half devil or something. Uh, Deanna, are you alright? You appear preoccupied with something. Are you worried about the prince? Totally, that's all. Not a traitor. I think they're taking Prince Blue number two away. Quickly, follow them. Alright, looks like they revived uh, good old Dawn there between chapters, so that's nice. Let's try not to let her die this time. So what have we got on screen today? We got another puppy down here, and another zombie ghoul. We got some new enemy, the Belial with Bolt. You can cast it twice. We got uh, more sorcerers, gargoyles. Oh no, real gargoyles. Um, so it looks like we could take two paths. I assume then just a random minotaur is the boss. Kind of a letdown after seeing all the, the fancy looking guys. Alright, well, you know, that'll do. There's not a lot of enemies on this map, is it? We could send everyone to the south, or we could split the party. <laughs> We're gonna split the party. I'm gonna send Claude up, because he can fly through the mountains better than most people. We could just send forest movement style units to the top right. But I don't know how many units are actually good at moving through the forest, to be honest. We don't have a Xylo. Alright. We're gonna send Natasha down. And send Dawn down. I'll send Higgins up, because he's a ninja. Makes sense, he might be able to move through the forest. Chester's going to go s probably faster through the forest than a uh, ranger. And I guess I'll still send one paladin up. And a healer down. And a wizard down. No, no, a wizard to the right. It's very important I split the party correctly. All right, we lured up the beast. <laughs> Cerberus has been very, very fire breathy lately. I thought they used to have like a 50-50 chance of a regular attack or a fire breath. Okay, Jaha. I guess you'll go up. Yeah, great start. At least no one's dead yet. All right, Deanna. You're the hero. Deal with this bad dog. <laughs> Almost one shot. 
44 experience, one swing. Almost max experience. Yeah, that's that's lovely. 59 attack there and a critical sword. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna send Graham down after the ghoul for now. Someone else can finish off the dog that already had his attack. Okay, there's a much weaker hit. Graham, not nearly as awesome as Deanna. Okay, let's move Sarah over. Uh, I'll keep her in the defense tile. Natasha, probably good time for you to finish off an enemy. Oh yeah, uh, Cerberus should be strong to fire, so we'll use ice magic. Bam! Bonus damage. Okay. Chester is actually a tank, so we move him up front. Claude... I think we'll try to go after this gargoyle that's just off on its own in the mountains. So no one else has to chase after it. So we get some damage here. Good start. Claude is level 10. HP 2. Attack 2. Defense 1. Quick 1. Decent. Oh yeah, future troopers, by the way. There's no, uh... Sadly, there are no new slides available for new re newly recruited characters like, uh... Actually, I forgot to add Sarah. I just added Sarah, and then I forgot to update the slides. Um, but because I created all my slides about a year ago, and then mostly lost them, and then refound them, I don't really have the templates ready to make more at the moment. And I had made everyone up to Sarah, and then I forgot to add her, of course. Uh, she's just added now. Um, so she'll show up in there on the list at some point. But, uh, unfortunately, Higgins and anyone else that's new, uh, won't be joining the slides on the bottom left, just because it's been too long, I forgot how I made them exactly, and they wouldn't match. You better not die again, Dawn. Gee whiz. The turn order is killing me. We're gonna risk this attack. If he gets countered, she dies. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, Higgins is not great. I'm not trying to get her killed? What you talking about? How much defense do you have, Higgins? 31. That's not bad. I'll put you up here. He's not as good as our tank, tank sniper. Can't even get hit by a ghoul. I said, can't even get hit by a ghoul. Cheater. Double attacks. Alright, well, we knew the Cerberus would fly over. Alright. They're really leaning heavily on that fire attack. Well, definitely time for some healing. Okay, ghoul, yeah. Well, Dawn's should be fine. She'll be totally safe now. 100% crit, yeah. Hmm. Getting a double attack like every attack is doesn't seem quite right. Unless you're like a Baron. The Baron class in uh, Shining Force 2 had like extra chance to get double attacks or something, I think. Okay, that's a Bolt 2 flyer coming at us. Hot. Okay, Deanna, last time you were pretty spectacular. Yeah, there you go. 28 damage. Good. Level 4. HP 3. MP 1. Attack 1. Defense 3. Quickness 1. Alright. Deanna is looking real fine. Yeah, also a tank. 37 defense. 60 attack power. That's good. Good stuff. Okay, we've got a little bit of room before the uh, Belial gets us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. Oh, it's probably going after Claude, actually. Eh, that's fine. He can survive a hit by lightning. Starting to get less experience, though, because he's level 10 promoted. Okay, now we need to heal... We don't need to heal Chester. Chester is invincible. 
We will need to heal the uh, fire damage, though. You know, why do one thing when you can do two? This is my aura mage. And you get more experience per MP by using aura. You can get 10 experience or so for every 3 MP, or you can get 25 for 7, so... It's a little better. Hey there, David. We're doing fine. So much more relaxing than trying to play uh, Fire Emblem Thracia. Okay, let's try to kill the Cerberus this turn. Yeah, the Game Gear version, the graphics are pretty poor. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons I'm playing the Sega CD version is uh, the graphics look like Shining Force 2, which is very good. So we got the green knight up here. We we have a purple knight. Not currently deployed. Uh, unfortunately, the ghoul is strong to ice and the Cerberus is strong to fire. So we don't have a very good AoE attack here. But we can probably uh, burn this down. All right, finally, level up. HP 1, MP 2, quickness plus 1. What are you guys doing? What's with these terrible level ups? My mages can't seem to get anything going. All right, Higgins critically threw some dirt at that zombie. Did some serious damage. Got to get healed up again, so just hold on a little bit, Don. I know Robert's going to be real sad if I get you killed. Okay, Jaha's attack power needs to get some stats up. All right, Chester, the the defense sniper, got nothing to worry about. There's not a lot of girl characters in this game. There's a mage and a centaur. That might be it. <laughs> well, do we count the elf? Is it a female elf? You could never tell with elves, right? I guess we have a cleric. We got a girl cleric. Okay, let's try to kill the Belial before it can bolt us. bad. Ooh, double attack. We haven't seen those in ever. Good job. Us. Graham. Trying to prove he's the king centaur around this player. Uh, we don't really need Claude down there. We don't really need Claude anywhere. He's uh, kind of overleveled. This will be fine. Yeah, we'll let uh, Chester get the kill here, no problem. Barely, that's right. Chester's a defense sniper, not an offense sniper. <laughs> HP 2, defense 2, no! <laughs> he has not got one point of attack since he promoted. Not a single point. <sighs> Why? That's insane. Three level ups with zero attack. After a promotion. And usually you get your best stat gains after a promotion. <sighs> sure, he's got lots of defense. What does that matter? Can't kill nothing. His defense isn't... His attack power is not too bad yet, but... Uh, that's not what I want. Oh yeah, the ninja can totally run through the forest. Awesome. Well, there you go. Higgins, that's one advantage for Higgins. He's very quick through the forest. Also, he throws a lot of dirt, you know. It'd be cool if he used a sword or something, but... Uh, you know, let's just say, you know, he's a ninja shinobi. He uses his sword so stealthily that you can't even see it. 
right? You guys believe me. Interesting pick to go after Claude. Dirt is stronger than sword. I mean, it's a critical sword. Seems like that'd be pretty good. What are we gonna do if we give him, like, the light sword? You won't even see it. I guess we should give him the darkness sword. That's the only fair pick. Well, we got kind of blocked in here. I was hoping to get through the bridge area before they cornered me, but... Okay, Jaha can't do anything. Nice. Oh, surprise! There's an ambush! Golems have arrived. Shouldn't be too surprised. Okay, well it's probably easier to punch a hole through the cleric and just kill him than to try to kill the zombie while the cleric heals him. Not that wounded, not that wounded. No need to waste MP just yet. Alright, how strong are these guys? 43 attack power. They're a little stronger than a ghoul. And a fair bit tankier, okay. You just hold off for a second while they uh, fly over, or walk over, stomp over. This is not, like, MP efficient, but she's gonna get a level up, right? Level 3, HP 2, MP 2, good. Attack 1, Defense 1, Quickness 1. There we go. At least that's a good, a good, uh, rounded level up. Looks like my north army is going to be bogged down with golems for a little while anyway, so. Quit picking on my bird, man. I know we're not a huge fan of birds on this channel, but just leave them alone. Okay, can we get a kill? No, not even close. Well, May, how much defense you got? 29, that's pretty good. We've got uh, land effect 30%, which even takes less damage, so I'll just leave you there. Dawn can't get close enough to help. Ninja! Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. You... Shouldn't kill the ghoul, and then someone else can finish it off? Shouldn't kill the ghoul, exactly. Yeah, they can only move two tiles in the mountains, not that great. Okay, how come Deanna hasn't had a turn yet? This uh, cleric has had two strikes on him now. And also regenerates. He dodged the dirt, well, you know. You can't expect much out of dirt throw. It's about as good as throw stone from FFT. Maybe not as good. Throw stone is pretty overpowered, gotta admit. <laughs> okay, the golems are wandering away now. We're taking so long to fight the zombie in the forest that the, the golems are just leaving. Yep. Alright, Deanna, you gotta clear the path here a little. Nah, come on, guys. What are you doing? Was that the amount of HP that it regened? No, not quite good. Phew. They're bored, yeah. They were just waiting for that ambush all day long, and then we finally sprung the trap, and then we didn't even walk up to them. Level 4, HP 2. Well, Graham, if you're trying to get benched, that's what you gotta do. Just keep getting level ups with no stats. 20 defense is, like, that's the worst we've got. So, yeah, you're talking yourself out of a job. Freaking archers, man. What is wrong with the archers? I got one archer with no attack power and one archer with no defense power. Ever. <laughs> Maybe we can fuse them together. 
one archer can ride the centaur archer. That that makes sense. Uh, I would kind of like. Uh, she doesn't have fire magic. I'd like May to get some kills here, but. You know. Jaw is better defense. Yeah. HP 2, defense 3. No, not again. What is going on? That's four level ups, no attack, but now our defense is 40. Our, our archer is actually not an archer. That's like almost 10 more defense than anyone on the team. Deanna's close, but Deanna probably had a, a protect milk or something. That's double. Double Graham's defense. Look at this. You take two damage from poison every turn, every time they take an action. That's how poison works. I just normally ignore it at this point in the game. Okay, we want this guy to move over and attack Claude. See, right there. I'm the tank now. Bring it on, golems. Tank archer. Tank bow. Bow tank? Go with that. Let's try not to get Dawn killed, though. Okay, we need to heal Deanna, clearly. I mean, four damage is nothing, but... Yeah. Can't ignore that aspect. Deanna, though, crushing it with those big hits. More poison. There's the heal. Now, let's send the ninja down... I don't know how- he might not do very much damage, you know, golems are made of rocks, so throwing rocks... Uh, I did a bit of damage. I wouldn't have expected much, though. <laughs> Alright. Bird versus golem. Punch. <laughs> I do like that attack. That's good. Golem versus shinobi. Punch. Looks like the shinobi has more defense than the bird. That makes sense. I think dwarves in this game, whichever, whatever class you consider a dwarf, I think they should get bonus movement or less movement penalty in mountains. Right? Not really anyone gets a movement buff, but less penalty in a mountain makes a lot of sense for a dwarf, I feel. Alright, Natasha gets the kill. 50, nearly 50 XP is good. Graham is basically getting ready to retire. Chester is just starting. Ultimate tank 2020. No damage, just just tanking. Slowly dying of poison over time. And try to lure this golem up. We're going to have a hard time crossing this forest with some of our units. Just roast them? Robert hates dwarves, man. Like no other race. Did a, did a dwarf, like, kiss your mother or something when you were young? Whatever dwarves do. Ooh, strong to ice. That's unfortunate. Good to know, but unfortunate. You just don't like crappy dwarves. Aww. No beard, no dwarf. Fair. 
not a real dwarf. He's some sort of half-breed. Okay. I thought we could lure him up with the bird, but we failed. Well, let's just run around ninjing it up. The opposite of Movember. Double attack ninja! Look at all the rocks he's throwing. You know what? Higgins started to turn out not terrible. He, he's he's not great, and I did give him the uh, the running ring to make him a better bit, bit faster. But hmm, lots of double attacks. More defense than the bird. The bird's getting punched to death pretty quickly here. How does dirt affect the golem? I don't know. You just throw the rocks really hard. Any projectile at high enough speed should work. You can't defeat Chester. <laughs> Two damage to an archer. You fools! Archer is made of something stronger than dirt. He is made of steel, far beyond the powers of rock. Okay, we better get this guy healed up, though. Just kill this rock man and then get healed up. Good enough. I don't even need to heal Chester. What are we talking about? Save your MP for someone who needs it, like the bird. She can probably take a punch if she needs to. Alright, Chester, just keep moving down at this point. Let's just keep training Chester. No one else needs any experience. Now, to be fair, range 3 with lowish damage but high defense is a pretty good combo. That is better than most archers in Shining Force. I wish he had some attack power, but at least he can do some damage and also doesn't die. And having range 3 means he can usually attack someone. So, that's working out. Better than I would have guessed. Uh, we actually can do 5 damage with Mei. Uh, I wish she used a bolt though. That'll do guaranteed more than 5 damage. He actually might resist lightning as well. I mean, he is made of earth. I suppose lightning working on rocks also doesn't make a ton of sense. Ah, let's keep using heals. Slade needs the levels. And he only gets, he doesn't have aura, so he only gets 10 XP per turn. So. Alright. Probably could lure out the sorcerer now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Easily. Sure. Deanna is our main character. We need Deanna to be strong. And Deanna is pretty good. Level 5, HP 2, MP 1, attack 1, defense 3. Nothing wrong with that. So he gets the defense of Chester and some offense. Defense 40. Defense 40. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Alright, we did not lure the sorcerer out. We instead lured a gargoyle. <laughs> well, we have our two front row tanks right now. That's for sure. Who needs speed? Not I. Well, let's finish healing up our birds so we can send them out to fight again. One damage. It's not gonna kill me. Uh, 
We got healers for that. Poison, I guess, does add up. High defense, but then poison kind of sucks. Okay, so Chester just flies over here, shoots at the cleric. I guess the sniper promotion is one of the better ones. Yeah, but no one knows any magic. I'm gonna send Higgins back to get healed. And then next turn he'll fight. The rest of the team's gonna take a little while to get up there. Okay, Dawn definitely needs to get some kills here. There we go. Good stuff, Dawn. Come on, level up. Level 3, HP 2, attack 1, defense 3. There we go. We're not going to let Robert's red waifu die. I'll be happy if we stop getting poisonous enemies soon, so I don't have to worry about constantly taking poison ticks. Alright. Oh no, Chester's one and only weakness, ice magic. Nah, he's fine. He's got lots of HP. And no one else can damage him. So do we want to group up? Or... Well, there's not much on the south side anyway. That guy will fly over it anyway, so might as well just go the group up. Okay, we are going to try to rush down the mage. Less AoE. And the job here is to heal up the ninja so the ninja can go back. I mean, to be fair, Higgins is not low HP. It's just... Uh, I didn't want him running up against the uh, Minotaur on his own, basically. At slightly low HP. And we'll probably need to heal Chester, which is, should be easy. If only Chester could do damage, Chester would have all the box ticks. Hmm. Not great. Ninja! Go Ninja! Rock throw! Double rock throw! Higgins! Look at this guy! Level 8 Ninja, HP 2, MP 1, Attack 2, Defense 2. He is getting better level ups than anyone else. No one else has had two attack up level ups. Not even close. Dawn's gonna wait, actually. Oh, come on! I didn't realize Claude got in range of Bolt. It's unfortunate, so I just wasted May's turn. Okay, that's... that's fine. That's a lot of extra attack, though, to be honest. That's an enemy with no weapons, so that's a pretty big bonus. <laughs> 59 damage, huh? Kill it! Kill it with axe! Ooh! HP 3, attack 2, defense 2. Okay, that's my dwarf. That was better. That was a pretty big hit. Unfortunate for the counterattack and then buffed. It was clearly going to use a spell. Yeah, but it just uh, got a counterattack that got to use the plus 16 attack. So uh, honestly, it, it, <laughs> it just did fine. But now it's dead, so we're good. Level 5, HP 1. Okay, Graham. It's it's quite possible that what's going on here is Graham has what they call... No, there shouldn't be any horse mages, I don't think. There's no Arthur. 
Um, at least as far as I know, no one's got any MP. Uh, Graham might be one of those late learners where his first 10 levels up really suck, and then he catches up in stats later, but that's the worst kind to be. But so far, his level 1 to 5 has been trash. Uh, at least... At least Chester's been getting defense. Graham gets nothing. Agility doesn't mean anything. He also has a quick ring. He has 21 agility. Which is the same as Chester. <laughs> His agility is the product of magical enchantment. I uh, should probably get healed up. Well, if we find anyone better, then we'll talk about benching, but... The truth is, there aren't a lot of options. We have a pretty small force. We only have 14 people, maybe 15 people. One of them's the monk that we never want to use. And then we've got, like, a spare paladin that's probably better. And, uh, a spare warrior. Could try to desoul again. Surely this will hit one day. Ha! Take that, punk! May is level 3. MP2, attack 1, quick 1. Eh. HP would have been pretty helpful, but I'll take it. Alright, Tankster, move on up. Honestly, Ninja should be fine. It still has a chance to miss, though. It's not like it's guaranteed. But I never really memorize which enemies are specifically weak or immune to uh, death spells in, this, in these games. Oh, I was going to heal up. Whatever. It doesn't, I was planning on healing my bird, but clearly it doesn't make any difference. Because now we defeat the boss. I know D-Soul was a favorite in uh, one of the other Shining Forces. Because it worked on a lot of things. Hmm. You're lucky, Graham. You probably won't get the kill, though. Good. Someone else can get the kill. I guess it's experience. Alright, here we go. Chester's the real MVP. Please get at least one attack. At least one. That's all I need. Just so I can say you're getting somewhat more dangerous. Level 6. HP 2. Attack 3! Bounded stats have finally recovered. Defense 2. Quickness 1. There we go. Chester the real MVP. Ah, uh, hey Mayfair. Guyan! It's Guyan! You're alive! This is a book one guy. He's our uh, beast man. He punches. Very, uh, very old school. Ah, they can't catch me! Uh, Prince Blue number two's been taken to the shrine. Ah, we must rescue him again. Come on, let's go. Uh, wait a minute. Look at everyone, they're all tired. Let's get to the village and allow everyone to rest. There's no time. Ah, uh, there's always time. <laughs> they took the main road, but I know a shortcut, because I'm a beast man. We can arrive before. Oh, what would I do without you, Guyan? Come on, everyone. We got shops to visit. Hey, look! A chapter with nobody dead! Look at that! First time with no deaths, right? <laughs> Help. Raise. No one is dead. Thank you. Some people were poisoned. Poison doesn't make much difference. Uh, before we end the episode here, I am going to check if Gaian has joined. And at what level he's joined at, if he has. Because he was... I'm pretty sure I trained him up to level 20, 20 in the uh, first one. So, Or at least level 20 promote into something high. So I'm pretty sure I used him quite a bit on the first game. 
status. All right, there's Guyan, level eight berserker, with five movement, fifty-five attack, and thirty-five defense. So about as good as our ninja. Same movement, probably slowed down by trees though. Basically the same as our ninja with no weapon and no magic. The problem I had with Guyan was he didn't get a lot of attack up. He got like one attack per level, which is not good enough if you don't have a sword. If you are a melee unit, you have to get more strength growth or attack growth than um, other units, or else you just can't keep up. So That was the problem in book one anyway, we'll see what happens here, uh, if I even use him. We could get rid of uh, Graham. So, I don't think Guyan's unaffected by terrain. Maybe he is, but I don't think so. That's why Xyla was so good back in that other game. Any deals? No, of course not. What you got? Same sword, same lance, bigger axe, bigger glove, protect staves, holy staves, great Scott shot. Sure. Well, who needs strength when you just get a better weapon every map? This is probably the last weapon we'll be able to get for uh, the archers, though. Unless we get a, like, a hyper buster drop. Great shot is probably the best we can buy. Um, the axe is going to be an upgrade, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit better than the heat axe. We'll keep the heat axe so that we can uh, use fire, too, if we want. Iron claw. It's a lot of money, but, you know, whatever. There you go, Luke. And let's see. So the Holy Staff lets you regenerate 2 HP per turn, which is not much. The Protect Staff gives you 2 defense, which is also not much. Yeah. And also, you need to be a Vicar to equip the Holy Staff. You can't equip it as a mage. It's pretty expensive. But I'll give it to the Vickers. That way there's less reason to heal themselves, they'll just regenerate. Which is not bad. And then that means I should have a spare Protect Staff. And I can give that to, uh... Natasha could definitely use a Protect Staff. I should have one spare. Yeah, Sarah can pass hers over. Okay, I don't need to buy that then. That's it. No, no new lances. No new swords. Not bad, though. Pretty good set of stuff. Oh, I guess we should sell stuff while we're here. Is there anything to sell is the real question. Uh, I could have bought an axe for Road. I don't know if he's very good, though. Like, we'll have to see what... Uh, what Jaha's stats are at level 6 with a similar weapon. But he's got three more level ups. And he's got, you know, 61, 29, 17. And then Rode has got... He's got a lot less power. Because Battle Axe to Great Axe is not going to be that much different. I don't think. So we get rid of these ones. A little bit of shopping. Oh yeah, we have that black ring. I should give that to someone. We'll hold on. I don't use the power spears very often, but we'll hold on to them. We're gonna get rid of that too. Okay. Just a shopping stream, you know. A little bit of fun. I do. I do like it when we get new items. It's a good time of the game for me. We're taking that protect staff and giving it to our our shining force leader. A little bit extra defense. So that gets her over 30 defense. That helps. Definitely a good thing for her to have the protect ring though. If I get a white ring, I'll probably give it to her because it's 10 defense rather than just five, I think. Yeah, her defense, not great. Okay. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this episode, future tubers. Um, the last thing we'll do... just want to compare, but... Uh, if I were to buy that fancy great axe for uh, Rode... 
he'd have 57 attack. So, um, level 6, he could get to 57. So that means Jaha is already 4 strength higher, and he has 3 levels to catch up. So he's going to be more powerful, physically, uh, and chances are he'll have 2 more defense points in uh, 3 level ups as well. So, at, I mean, Road comes pre-leveled and pre-promoted, of course, so it's not a fair comparison, but if he had used Road, he would have got some levels up as well to, to keep him... Like, if you use them the same amount, Road would stay ahead until the level cur the EXP curve kind of evened it out. But, uh, you know, potential-wise, basically, Jaha is going to be at the same level stronger. And then maybe Road's growth would eventually win again, perhaps, but uh, at level 6, Jaha should win. Alright, I think that's all I need to check. Well, there's that black ring. Um, let me double check what spell that casts. It's cursed, of course. So you only want to equip it if you are prepared to be cursed. And I think it's the same as Shining Force 2, probably. Uh, RPG classics. Weapons. It's not really weapons, it's a ring. Ring, ring, ring. So the black ring should give you 10 strength on equip, but only wizards can equip it. That's the trouble, right? Only wizards can even equip it. They get plus 10 strength, but it doesn't matter. And it casts Blaze 2 on use, which is not that powerful this late into the game. The evil ring is another plus 10 strength, but again, only wizards can equip it in this game. So, blah. Also, it doesn't say the black ring might not be cursed. It says the evil ring's cursed, but maybe this one's not. Maybe I'll give it to one of my wizards. Mm, we have not found a power ring yet. We got one moving ring, one running ring, one quick ring. There should be a defense ring somewhere, or a, a white ring somewhere. Let's, uh... Oops, what am I doing? Let's give this black ring to somebody. So we could give it to May. She'd have 51 attack power. That's quite a lot. I could give it to Natasha, but then she would lose her Protect Ring. So, the only other option is here. Let's just see what happens. Usually, I'm pretty sure it's cursed, to be honest, but maybe it's not in this game. It appears it's not cursed. Because I can just unequip it. So, it's just plus 10 defense, or plus 10 attack. That's pretty good. There might be an animal included in that one dirigible, not just the claw. That's like the shorthand version of the, the full name. It's, it's a something claw. Uh, all right, so for there, that's good enough. Okay, future tubers, we're going to call that a episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm pretty happy everyone's been promoted and not everyone's very strong, but, you know, they're catching up. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed and see you next time.